I'm immortal. I mean, he cut me this time. He cut me real deep. But you know what? I still got the ghost face killer. I still kicked his butt. I'm in salad and I saw Scream 2. It's directed by Wes Craven. This is the sequel to Scream. If you couldn't tell, there's a 2, so means sequel. Uh, if you haven't seen this movie, why haven't you? You, you gotta watch it. So, uh, movie starts uh, with a lot of spoilers by me. Spoilers. And also starts in a movie theater. Do you like movie theaters? Uh, well, a lot of people do. They're, you got, following a couple who's watching Stab, which is the movie based on the real life events of what happened in Scream. <laughs> and it's like, alright, Scream's a bad name. And also, Stab's a bad name. And they mention it in the movie. And I was like, oh, that's funny. Still going with the meta humor. I like the meta humor. And then, uh, fun stuff such as, such as too many people in costumes. So many people in Ghostface Killer costumes with, like, glow-in-the-dark knives, which I personally want. That looks really sick and cool. But, more fun stuff. Uh, boyfriend. Since, you know, it's a, it's a couple that we're watching. Boyfriend goes to the bathroom, gets uh, uh, death. Death bestowed upon him by the Ghostface Killer. Well, he is technically a ghost face killer, but he's like, all right, ugh, dead. Sits next to the girl. Girl's like, ooh, I'm all up on you. I'm going to love you. And then <laughs> lots of stab a uh, he, he Basically, the chick starts running. The guy keeps stabbing, and no one thinks of anything. You got a couple of people who are like... <laughs> What was on me? Something squirted on me. Maybe it was ketchup. <laughs> but, you know, it was, um, everyone's like, oh, this must be a public thing until she dies in front of the entire movie theater. What a really traumatic night. That's, uh, not fun, <laughs> I bet. Especially not for the victims. So, uh, more stuff happens, such as we are now... Uh, following the media, uh, the media girl, the news girl from last time. She's here. She helped write stab. People were, uh, you know, communicating with her about it. It was, uh, sad. It, it, sa it sucks that someone died in the movie that she wrote. So, you know, bad publicity. We're also following... Uh, uh, Dewey is back. The, the, the cop? Well, he, he's not a cop no more, he's kind of just there. He's, uh, he's there for the news girl. But most importantly, this also takes place at a college campus, because Sydney is, is in college. She's at a sorority. You got people be like, hey, you're a recluse. She's like, I have trust issues, eh. But you know what's also fun about that? Uh, the thing about college sorority houses is that they have a lot of parties. There's this party with this girl, and then everyone's gone except for this one chick. Oh no, it's the tropes happening again! Uh, the sorority girl gets... <laughs> I'm saying like, like, gun sounds, but I'm actually- she's being stabbed. <laughs> What's fun is that then she gets thrown over the balcony. It's like, ah, yeah, I love being thrown over balcony. Actually, I'm not going to finish that because I do not love being thrown over balconies. But she, the chick who got thrown over the balcony, gets thrown over the balcony and dies. Uh, must have been a fun wild ride as a while it lasted, I guess. Uh, then you get a bunch of people who are like, whoa, party foul. Oh, let's go to... Uh, the, uh, the, uh, there's a the house over there. there there's uh, like a bunch of cop cars. That's the house that she got murdered in. And like another sorority house, there's a party. Everyone goes over there. They're like, oh, party foul. It's like, dude, someone died there. What is wrong with you? I don't necessarily... 
like the fact that you're so dismissive. It's like it's like the teenager from the other movie when they're like, "Oh yeah, let's go see our principal disemboweled." No, what? Well, uh, come on, you're absolutely the worst. But uh, we're also following Derek, which is Sydney's boyfriend. Uh, Derek's part of fraternity. Uh, he's getting hazed and such, and he gets held up by cross. He by the cross. He's on a cross. I don't think it's very appropriate for him to be on a cross, but he's on a cross. And he's uh, he's like in front of the auditorium. The theater stage. I do remember there being a stage, uh, uh, like, oh, there's a theater here. Oh, someone's performing classes. Well, actually, it's Sydney. She's performing, and you got a bunch of, like, masked people around her. And she's like, oh, I don't know if I could perform this or not. But then, the Ghostface Killer shows back up. Emits on the stage, tries to stab her, and then flees when she screams. And then everyone's like, oh... Oh no. Uh, there's a killer among us. Ooh, spooky. Crazy how that happens. But yeah, let's go back to... Now we're at the same theater. Where good old pal, uh, Mickey, this is Derek's friend. He's a, he's a good buddy. He's like... Yeah, I'm on this cross. And uh, there's, there's like a lot of... The news anchor, he's like, ooh, what is all- there's this- there's some murdery stuff happening again? Sydney's like, ah, oh, it's happening again? Ah, oh, it sucks, I hate it. I do remember the final showdown happening at this theater, uh, where you get- There's like a news anchor, it's- it's one of- it's one of the- the- you know that chick who wrote... Stab? Stabby stab stab? Yeah, that chick, she wrote Stab. She has a co-worker who's like, ugh, posh. She's very posh, I'd say. Uh, she... she uh, there's like this whole theory that the killer is a copycat killer. He's trying to copy the names of everyone who gets who's going to get murdered. Like, cause you know, it's a whole- it's a whole story you get famous, but it's like... I don't understand the logic of people who want to murder to be famous. It's- it's not a good fame, it's not good heat. This isn't wrestling. This is someone's life, and you're messing with somebody's family. You're basically just like, all the red strings, BAM! Murder, death, kill! All those strings that connect to other people, Suddenly gone. You're going to be noticed that that person's gone. And then to be like, oh yeah, this will make me famous. You don't want fame. What do you want? What do you want? You want love? That's what most people want. Love. Maybe you weren't loved as a child, serial killer. That's maybe why you want to uh, do murder, death, killing. Speaking of moms, <laughs> uh, turns out, you know that colleague? She is... Uh, good old pal, uh, man, uh, what is it? Billy. Yes, Billy. Billy's mom. Billy's mom is, wants revenge on Sydney killing her precious little child, the serial killer Billy. Oh no. She, of course, is very hypocritical. She abandoned Billy, and so Billy became a serial killer. But she's like, "Ah, oh, you killed him! Um, it's like, you're a bad parent! I don't know what to say! All these issues with everyone is the bad parenting. I'm sorry. It's just that. It's just that. It, it's just... Uh, she doesn't understand the hypocrisy. Also, uh, Mickey... Uh, is pretty much goes like, yeah, I'm, I'm also pairing up with her. He's also the killer. <sighs> Very sad to see her, her mom, not her mom, Billy's mom, rather. Billy's mom is like, hey, uh, murder. 
bam, right through Mickey. It's like, okay, you're gonna kill your accomplice? You're crazy, woman. Why? Wow. Wow, I can't believe it. it, it and then there's a whole, like, showdown, like, whoo, yeah, you got, uh, she is trying to kill Sydney. And then, oh, there's a whole, like, battle thing. You also got the media ladies there, too. What a lovely fitting name for the media lady is Gail. Uh, so much better than uh, <laughs> Billy's mom. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Honestly, the whole, like, Billy's mom coming back for revenge is a Friday the 13th joke, which is, I appreciate. I was like, oh, man, that's funny, I like that. Uh, also, I should mention, uh, now that we're talking about, you know, meta jokes, the meta joke of the movie is like, here is how to make a perfect sequel. There always has to be more blood, there always has to be more of this, more dramatic a action, all the tension, all the drama has to occur, and more bigger in sequels. And never forget that in order to pull off a franchise, you can never forget this step and then bam, it doesn't finish it. It's like, oh, this is gonna be set up for a joke later on? Question mark? I'm very excited. Uh, but, oh, there's a, like a whole standoff where Cotton, by the way, the guy that she framed the first movie is out of jail. It's forgiven him. I mean, forgiven uh, Sydney. Until it comes to Cotton comes. It's like, hey, I have a gun. And I'm going to use that gun on you, Sydney. He was originally going to use it on Billy's mom. But she effectively convinces. Just, hey, you should shoot it at Sydney instead. Points his gun at her. I'm gonna murder death to kill you. Fame. I want fame and fortune. No, you don't. You want love. You want love. That's all you want is love. I'm telling you, you want love. And he's like, I'm gonna murder you. But then Sydney's like, I'm gonna interview. And then, bam! Gets her. By her, I mean Billy's mom. She's dead. Good goodbye, Billy's mom. And then here's another joke. Uh, you know, they always come back, and you expect it since, you know, we're looking at Billy's mom. Uh, it's gonna be Billy. What's the version? It's Mickey. Mickey, like, woo! And then, bam, bam! No, you did not, you're not gonna creep up on me like that. <laughs> oh, no. And then shoots her, uh, Sydney shoots Billy's mom in the head. Just like the first movie. Hey, that was pretty neat. And then, uh, we get to see a nice change in pace. Where you get the, instead of like, you know, the ambulances, and you got Gail. Gail! She's like, hey, I'm going to be all, ah, oh, there's fame and fortune and money in this, oh! She's instead gonna be like, oh no, Dewey, you were hurt! No! Not you! And then go in the ambulance with him. Oh, I'm sorry, the wambulance. Ha <laughs> ha! Funny joke, not really. But, <laughs> it's all fun and games. Sydney has to still go to college there. And there's a copycat killer. Uh, why? Uh, I'm still like, why do you why do you want to be known as a murderer? Are you that crazy? I don't understand what you want. If you want to be known as a murderer, maybe you want to be feared, revered. I don't know. I just personally want to watch all of the movies. That's all I want. So. That's the mission statement of Min Saw. Saw all the movies. And that was pretty much how the movie ended. Uh, there was a whole lot of, like, talk in the movie. Oh, the sequels are usually worse. Ooh, woo, woo, woo. I... I mean, I agree with that sentiment. However, does it apply to this movie? Well, let's see. Uh, I definitely like... The colors. The colors definitely... Like, more noticeable. There's a lot of red and green. I noticed, like, oh, hey, complimentary colors within the scenery. Their skin's a little tinted more red. Even if on objects that aren't red, or are tinted a little bit red, and the greens are more vibrant. And so it's like, oh, you get the complimentary stuff. Uh, the colors are great. I like the colors a lot. Uh, the subversions were different this time. They're subverting the subversions of horror tropes. 
So it's like, it's, we're now we're two steps removed. Or three steps removed. Whatever, whatever steps removed. We're from that. So, you know, it's fun. And so I gotta give this movie a solid 7.95 out of 10. I'm only giving it a 0.5 because I feel like it's as good as the movie, but it's like a little bit better. Just a little bit. A little bit better than the first movie, rather. And if you like this content and more content on Patreon.com slash ASC Presents, $3 a month, get some daily vlogs. Hey, that's pretty cool. But also, $5 a month, get some salad dressings. What is a salad dressing? I'm glad you asked. I try on clothes. Whatever you send me, or whatever I buy, I try them on. I'm like, hey, cool stuff. Here's a review of it. It's pretty neat. I like wearing clothes. I wear all the clothes that I have given more than once. You might see that I am wearing it once, but I am in fact wearing it, you know, normally. Like, uh, normal. But also, speaking of normal, $20 a month! You get a movie review. One month equals one request. Go to patreon.com slash ASU Presents. If you like 18 plus adult content where I am talking to all the fans, if you hit me up, I'll talk to you in this link tree right here on the screen. You should definitely type it in in the URL and also it's in the description if you're lazy. So yeah, go check this out. It's pretty neat. You got fun stuff. All the fun stuff and things are here. Until next time, I'm in salad sauce. See you later, my salad croutons and bacon bits.